Hi, welcome to Better Music. We're fortunate enough today to have Steve Allen to come in and demonstrate some uh, Ramirez guitars for us. Uh, thanks very much, Steve. Really appreciate it, brother. Good to be here, Matt. Excellent. Um, the first guitar we have for us is Ramirez Top of the Range 4NE. Uh, this guitar features a solid uh, uh, red cedar top and solid Indian rosewood back and sides. It's the traditional uh, asymmetrical six-spoke fan brace on the top and this is a lovely guitar. The, uh, the ribs on it are slightly uh, scalloped which uh, makes the guitar a little bit lighter and a little bit more lively. So this is um, their top of the line student guitar and it sounds fabulous. Cheers. Next up we've got uh, the 130th anniversary model. Um, this one's styling is uh, traditional, different headstock, uh, the, the older style headstock and um, it also has this really fantastic, I don't know if you can bring the camera in a bit closer to see this, um, they usually only uh, reserve this uh, feature for the top end um, concert guitars. It's just got this little bevel here which helps protect the top of the guitar from, uh, from uh, uh, ends of the strings which is a really cool feature. Um, this, as I said, it's a traditional design by Jose Ramirez since the 130th anniversary guitar. Still, it's the uh, six-spoke fan bracing. And um, there was something else I was going to say about this guitar, which I thought was um, an interesting feature. Oh, that's right. The, uh, the rosette um, is the uh, cherry blossoms, which is uh, to commemorate um, the uh, disaster in, uh, in Japan in 2011, which is a, a nice touch. Mm. So, really lovely guitar. Um, same bracing pattern, but the ribs are thicker than than the 4NE, um, which gives it a, a, a more direct kind of tone and a, a more traditional kind of tone, and you should hear that in this demonstration. So I think we decided that um, that the 130 was um, probably best on single note and traditional classical playing. We, that was our preference, wasn't it? I think so, Matt. Yeah. I think um, it certainly gave a, a fuller, richer tone for me, yep. filling in all the frequencies. And um, I enjoyed playing this one with the bark yep. in particular much more. Yep. Mm. Uh, but the 4 and E um, sort of stepped up to the plate when you played the flamenco style. It really bounced out, and that's probably due to the um, the lighter bracing. Yeah, I think so. We got much better attack, much, yes. um, and that more brittle uh, sound and percussive sound yep. um, required for that style, um, and it certainly did step up. Yeah, so they really both have their place depending on what you want to do. Thanks again for coming in. We really appreciate it. Absolute pleasure. Thanks, Cheers, Matt. brother. Yep.